Hey guys, welcome back to Olivia's Blooms. Today I'm doing a little bit of an experiment. Um, we are down in my basement seed starting area and I'm going to be starting some cool season hardy annuals. Now, I'm only starting one today. I'm gonna be starting stock. And this is an experiment for me because I um, grew stock this spring. I started it indoors in very early spring, like Lisa Mason Ziegler recommends, and planted it out before our last frost. And my stock wasn't great. I had a few nice, big, long stems with the scent and the gorgeous, fluffy blooms I was expecting, but most of them were kind of short and um, not that impressive. And um, I wanted to try fall planting them to see if that works better in my area. And again, gardening sometimes is about just experimenting for what works for you. But um, I want to see, I'm going to try it both ways again this year because it could have been for a variety of reasons. Um, I did plant the spring stock in my raised garden bed, which to me, that's, you know, the best conditions. So, um, but we'll see if I'm going to plant it in several different areas, several different methods and see what works best for me. I am going to be starting four different varieties today, but I'm only going to be starting 10 of each. So I'm only going to start about 40 because again, this is an experiment. I know only 40. It's, it's a lot, but, um, I have a lot more seed than that. But the ones I'm gonna be trying are the Cat's Cherry Blossom from Johnny's Seeds, Cat's Ruby, also from Johnny's Seeds, the Iron Pastel Mix, I have not tried this one before, from Johnny's Seeds, and then the Anytime Mix did the best for me last year. Look at those gorgeous jewel tones. So I'm going to be soil blocking them in small soil blocks, that's how I planted them in the spring and the small soil blocks worked well for me. I'm also going to be trying for the first time these fiberglass trays. I'm very excited to try these. Um, I saw these on Blossom and Branch and the reason I'm excited about these are they are nice and shallow, sturdy, and you can put them in the dishwasher so a lot easier to um, sanitize and more environmentally friendly because again you're not throwing this away. You're going to be reusing this for years and perfect size for a couple of soil blocks. I've also got my little seed tray and I've labeled my tray um, just stock mix because I'm gonna be planting this in an area where I don't mind a mix and I'm not gonna go ahead and label each of the four varieties because it won't matter that much for me. Okay, so Again, I made my soil box, and if you wanna see how I make my soil box, you can look at my earlier video where I started cauliflower in the basement. And I'm just dumping the seed out into the tray. I'm gonna take the, my toothpick. I'm gonna to use the toothpick method. Oh, and I need some water. And dip this in some water, tap it on the seed, and the seed will stick, and then I'll put one in each hole. And it's as quick and easy as that once I find my water. Our stock seeds and stock are really easy to work with they're a nice big seed as you can see and the last few steps I'm going to spray them in if I can grab my spray bottle it's all about keeping them moist till they're up Ooh. 
I'm gonna grab just a light sprinkling of vermiculite, fine vermiculite, which I find helps keep the algae growth down, helps keep them moist. Just a light sprinkling there. I'm gonna spray that one more time. And then I'll put these under a dome on my heat mat. And I find that stock usually germinates pretty quickly for me in my conditions. And again, I have these lights on so that you can see well. I'm actually gonna grab this dome right here. got some other things germinating here. I've got some snapdragons and I can show you a few things that are already up. Here I have this snack, snapdragon, snack dragon, snapdragon chantilly mix. These are really hard to see but you can see that little seedling there. And I use a rule I learned from Lisa Mason Ziegler where 50% of the seeds are up. I'll go ahead and take them off the mat and put them under grow lights. So I think I had about like 10 or 11 of those come up. Here I've got, again, this is hard to see. I've got another variety of Snapdragon. And where's my label? These are the lavender, Potomac lavender. And you can see I've got my lights because these are not heat producing lights. I've got them just a couple inches away. I find that works well. And then last, I have something I haven't grown before, which is Echinops, Blue Globe Echinops. I'm very excited for that. I think that'll be beautiful, fresh and dried. And I have that in the bigger soil blocks just because the seed, as you can see, was very large. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these in here until they're about three to five inches tall, and then I will plant them out and overwinter these. So it was that quick and easy. I hope you enjoyed starting some stock with me today and I will keep you updated on their progress. So already an update. I planted the stock in this video Sunday morning. It is now Tuesday evening and you can see we have got some germination. Pretty quick. I found that some colors tend to germinate quicker than others, so I will keep these nice and moist, and as soon as half of them are up, they will go under the grow lights. And here's a little update on the seeds, the Cool Hardy annuals that we direct sow together. Right here, we've got a little bell of Ireland. And you might be wondering how I know that's the bells of Ireland, but I've grown these enough to recognize them when I see them, the little variegated cotyledons. So one so far, not bad. I expect that they will germinate um, more once the nights start staying a little bit cooler. I might have another one there. I think it's a little too early to tell. And look, lots of weed seeds, but that's okay. While looking for seeds, I found a little frog friend. We've got lots of those too. Hey, Mr. Frog. Hard to see right here. Oh, there he goes. Hey, thanks for joining us. And I'm pretty sure we've got a couple Rudbeckia, which I am very excited about. The Sahara mix are gorgeous. Getting good germination on these. Here we are in the strawberry patch. You can see I've got some crests sprouting. Let's check on the nigella and see if we have anything here. Oh, yep, there's a couple there. Awesome. And finally, our larkspur. Now, I'm not sure I see any larkspur yet. Got a little cluster of something over here. I'm not sure what that is. We'll have to wait and see as it gets bigger. One might be a larkspur. Definitely some grass and weeds popping up, but that's okay. I'll just pull those out. Overall, I am pretty happy with the 
seeds I'm seeing from our direct sowing. I hope you guys had as much fun gardening as I did today.